Hi, and welcome back to Healthy Living. I'm Dr. Donald Pelto, and I want to answer a common question I get in the summertime. Why does my foot hurt when I start to exercise? Many people in the summertime, they start to increase the activity, they start to walk outside because the weather is nice, they go on vacation where they walk maybe four or five miles when they're not used to it, and then their foot starts to hurt. They may or may not have swelling, and they're wondering, why does my foot hurt? There's probably hundreds of types of problems that can happen, but one of the most common problems is called a stress fracture. Now, why a stress fracture? What's so stressful about a stress fracture? Let me show you a picture here of a stress fracture. If you look in this picture on the left-hand side, you can see that there's a little white line that's going through the bone, and there's a red circle around it. This is showing an area of stress fracture. Let me show you what happens with this foot model. When you have a stress fracture, you increase the amount of walking that you're doing, and there's a lot of increased pressure going through your foot. Your foot and your muscles and your tendons are all used to transfer your foot pressure and all this compression up the leg and to help you go forward. If you do a lot of walking, you can put increased pressure underneath one of the bones. What happens to the bone is that the bone swells. Yes, you can get swelling inside of your bone. And then eventually, that swelling can cause a little bit of a crack in the bone. And if we go back to this picture, you can see that actually on the, on the right hand side, the second bone is longer than the first and the third bone. And that is one of the mechanical causes. So if this bone here on this image is actually longer, you're going to have increased pressure on that area due to the mechanics. That's just one reason that you could have a stress fracture. There are other reasons. A lot of people, as they become older, they start to have weakening of the bones or osteoporosis. If you have this and you do a lot of walking, you could get a stress fracture easier. Other people, they try to increase their activity. They say, you know, I'm gonna, join, I'm gonna do my 5,000 steps a day with their Fitbit, and they do all this walking, and then their foot starts to hurt because they're not used to it. But why? To explain it simply, your body is used to doing a certain amount of activity. You've been doing that activity for years. And your muscles, tendons, and your bones are all used to that amount of activity. If you increase it by 50% or 100%, your bones aren't used to it. And there's a greater chance of injury because the bone has to adapt. And for the bone to adapt and for the bone to get stronger, it takes time. And if this doesn't happen, you're gonna have an injury. And that can be a tendon injury, but more commonly, it's a bone injury. There's a, there's a, a certain type of this fracture, it's called a marching fracture that happens. And you see this a lot of times in young athletes when they go into the military. Because when they go into the military, they start doing a lot of activity, they start doing a lot of marching, and their foot bone is not strong enough, and it causes a stress fracture. What happens with a stress fracture? You get a little bone break, and your body tries to heal it. So what are the treatments? You can wear a more stable shoe. You can wear one of the walking boots. And actually, for a lot of people that do a lot of running, we just say, keep running. Because a stress fracture doesn't go throughout the bone. It's usually only a portion of the bone. If you keep running, it'll either get better over time, which is six to eight weeks, or it'll break totally through, in which case you know it'll take six to eight weeks to get better. But during that time, you may find yourself limping. You may find you have swelling in the foot. And sometimes, if you go to the doctor right away, it doesn't show up on the x-ray. But you thought, but I thought fractures always show up in the x-ray. Well, they don't. Because sometimes a fracture, if it's a stress fracture, it's only one portion of the bone, and you don't see the fracture until you see the healing. Because if we go back to this picture, you can see that there are this, this area around the bone. It's called bone callus. And that bone callus is kind of like a strut to help stabilize the bone so that it can heal. Once the bone's healed, that bone callus goes away. So how do you avoid getting a stress fracture? Go slow. When you start to work out, only increase your activity about 20% a week. You can double or triple the amount of walking and the amount of activity, but go slow. And also, you'll avoid other types of foot problems as well. Be aware as well the type of shoes that you're wearing. Many people wear their worst shoes for the hardest activities. 
So for example, let's say your shoe is six months or a year old, and then you decide, well, I'm gonna wear the shoe now when I go on a long walk or when I mow the lawn, and that doesn't give you enough cushion in the shoe, and it can cause a stress fracture. If you wanna learn more about stress fractures, please go to drpelto.com, and you can find more information out about this condition. Thank you.